welcome back to jessica's craft time my name is jessica and today we have our whip and chat which stands for work in progress whip and chat so i just chat about what's been happening um and what i've been up to so today we are working on a paint by number it's this one here from art star i'm pretty sure i got it from right art some pros and cons compared to the other one I did. Um, the paints, which are here, are not numbered. They came stuck through here. There is, um, There was a strip on the back that had all the numbers here, but I suppose you could cut them out and stick them on the pots. Um, I've got a beetle. Where did you come from? I don't really want you in my paint. Um... But I've just cut the strip off and put them on. Most of the colours are very distinct. So you can kind of match up which one's meant to be which number. The other thing is the other paint by numbers. And don't mind this. I blurted paint everywhere. Whoops. We'll have to paint over that. The other paint by number I did was just solid colour. If it called for one, it was one this one however now i'll bring you they give you like a practice sheet if you have a look if i had it up the right way if you have a look here this has got one one fourteen so this means i need one one two parts of paint number one and one part of the paint number 14. so you have to mix colors so i've got this acetate sh acrylic sheet I don't know, it was something my son brought home. I've got that here that I've been mixing colours on. Um, so it's, you get a more in-depth, as you can see from the picture, there's there's lots of colours and lots of shading. You get more of an in-depth picture in saying that it's a little bit harder to work. Um, so what I started doing was filling in some of the colours that were just single colours all over. But now that I'm starting to mix, I'm kind of working from one section over and cleaning my paintbrush and, and going as I go. So we'll see how we work today. Um, now, just to follow up from my ink art, that's the final product there of those two. Do not use Stampin' Up! inks because they're not alcohol based and they didn't dry. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So they turned out really cool. I did come back with this one and give it a bit of a spritz with a spray of spray bottle of the blending ink, which has given some, but you've got some really shiny bits. So that's going to look awesome on the back of the card. I wish I hadn't have done this black now because I really don't like it. I don't know what I'm going to do there. So anyway, that was, that was fun, the ink blending. So I might do some more of that. But today we're just going to work on this. So, I'm going to do this one here. I might need to note this down because as I'm talking, I'm not going to remember which ones I've done. So, this is 14, 16 and 1. So, all I do is I just get, have a look to see how much I need. There's a few that are 14, 16 and 1. So, I'll make up some. Now, this is how I splattered. These are really hard to open. So I tend to get um, a bit everywhere. So I've got 14. And that's what I did, just shutting it and it splattered. So I probably shouldn't do it over it again. 16, I'm just going to get like a loaded paintbrush full. About the same amount of each one. And one is white, so I might clean my brush before I dip it in there. That's got... I should have changed my water too. Oh, well. And one. So I just get a paintbrush worth of each and then just mix it on my sheet. And then this actually washes off quite easy. Um, I haven't let it dry on here. I've sort of washed it as soon as I finished my session. Um, but I don't have a paint palette, so we're making do with something that I have. 
done. Um, this is actually the brush that came in the set and I quite like it. I haven't really had an issue with it, so I've been quite happy with it. Um, I think it was better than the last one that I got, the last brushes. But um, anyway, what have you all been up to? Welcome to any new subscribers on the page. I hope you enjoy the videos. I have been a little bit quiet with some of my other videos, but that will probably start um, after school holidays. We'll start getting a few more again. Uh, the work that I was doing for the data entry job that I was doing has finished. Um, so I've got a little bit more time, hopefully, to do some more videos. Which kind of sucked as much as it was boring. I was really liking the extra income. Um, it was really helping a bit. But at the moment, we are in lockdown. We are in New South Wales, in Australia. And we are in the greater Sydney area. Actually, I think we're classes... Hmm, I think we're borderline between Metro Sydney and Greater Sydney. Technically, we are Metro. Um... But, yeah, we're, we're, we're really borderline, the metro area. We're really out of, out of edge. Um, thankfully, we haven't any active cases in the area. We've had a couple that have been in quarantine or isolation, whatever you want to call it. Um, but there's no areas of concern in our area, but the whole of Greater Sydney is in lockdown for two weeks, which perfect timing was just as school holidays started. Uh, this week's been a little bit strange for me. Um, school holidays started, but before we went into lockdown, uh, we were meant to be running a youth camp which we had to cancel, uh, totally sucks for the kids. This is the third camp we've had to cancel on them. But Mark was off to spend his week with his grandparents. So he had already planned to take the Friday off school and they were heading down for his first ski lessons, which he had an absolute ball because they left Friday before the lockdown was announced they were already at the ski fields uh, when lockdown was announced the ski fields are not in greater Sydney but they decided that they would still go ahead with the classes because the kids had already been together prior to lockdown and they're already there so he got to do his ski lesson and now he's spending a few days with them um, which is fine. It's, it's good for him to spend some time with him. But now that my work's finished, uh, I've been a bit lost. Hubby's home working, which it's not too bad. He basically is just in his little office doing his work. But I'm feeling very lost. Uh, my work's finished and I've sort of got no motivation to do anything, um, what was it? 14, 16, and 1. There's another one. Um, yeah, I've kind of got no motivation. Yesterday I was really like, what do I do? Um, I was a bit lost. I had no motivation to do craft. I ended up doing, after dinner, I ended up doing one more section on my diamond painting. But I was really, really a bit, ugh. Um, so today... I got up and it's bin day for us and a couple of weeks ago I cleaned out around the side of my house if you've been following my whip and chats that was when I found the nappy on the roof but I haven't been able to get all of the stuff I pulled out into the bin yet so bins were collected this morning so I thought no I'm not 
I've got to get around the side of the house, but I'm going to clean up the backyard first. Um, we've been going through, I finally got hubby to go through his wardrobe. So we cleaned that out. I'd clean my wardrobe out. We cleaned Mark's toys out. So I'm like, all right, the house is clean, but the backyard ew, looks like a bomb site. There was rocks everywhere and sand and, you know, just boys having fun with his construction. Um, so I thought he's not here at the moment. I'm going to go through his toys out here and get rid of just the broken bits and the rubbish. So I started doing that this morning and then I'm like, well, my bins have been emptied. Let's do a bit of gardening in the backyard. So this half an hour, hour long exercise, you know, I thought I'd be able to watch Miss Coffee's um, whip and chat and I'd be done. Yeah, no, 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 no. It ended up taking me four hours. So we, I pulled, put all the toys away, swept all out the back and then I started trimming the plants back, pulling the weeds out. I'm like, look, I might as well fill the bin. And then the rest of the side of the house, so far I've been ac accessing it from the front yard. But the last little bit's really down sort of the backyard end of the house. So I'm like, okay, I need to go and clean up around the back where the clothesline is. And, you know, get into it that way because I hadn't quite finished um, finish tidying it from this end, the back half. Yeah, that didn't end up. By the time I got to it, I was done for the day. <laughs> so I ended up, there's another one in there. I ended up um, getting to around the clothesline, the side or back end of the house where the clothesline is. And I'm like, I'm so over the tiles out here. Or they're probably more like pavers. Um, and I'm, I've been really, they've been really sort of... Mm, got a big build up of dirt on them um they're under a couple of trees that have obviously dropped sap over time so i'm like what am i going to do about this i pulled the pressure washer out and i pressure washed them i used the pressure washer all on my own i was very proud of myself hubby was working i did have to get him to come and set it up for me because i'm like i can't work out how these go together um he hasn't looked yet. I haven't put it all away properly because I'm like, I don't want to put it away wet. So it can just kind of sit in there. <laughs> Whoops. Um, so after finishing doing around the back under the clothesline, it looks amazing now. Those t pavers have always been black to me. They're not. They're like an orangey color, uh, like a terracotta kind of color. Who'd know? Um... So I cleaned up that and then I filled one bin and then I'm like, I've done enough for today. I'm not going to fill the other one, but it's all tidy around there and it's all been pressure washed and it looks really good and it was all wet. So I'm like, I don't want to pull more branches through it. I'm like, it's clean. I don't really want to mess it up by pulling more branches around and through it. So we're done for today and that was four hours later and I'm like yeah I'm done I'm done I'm done done so that's another day but I've got two weeks until the bins emptied again so our green waste only gets emptied once every two weeks so I've got plenty of time to finish filling the bin maybe I'll do it tomorrow but I was ready for a shower, I was wet, I was dirty, I had bits of stuff all over me, my feet had got drenched, because I was only going to do, you know, sweep the pavers and clean the toys up, and in doing that, I didn't go and put my work boots on. Well, I probably should have put my work boots on, because I was drenched by the end of it. But it's clean, and it's tidy, and it's so nice, I haven't... Yeah, it just looks so good. Now I want to sort of go around and do the rest of all the pavers and the bricks and it'll happen one day, but I'd had enough. For some reason, our hose connections are so dodgy and it kept coming off either the tap or the pressure washer. So after reconnecting it like the 10 millionth time, I'd given up. I'd had enough, so that's fine. We'll finish it another day. 
but that was a big thing. But other than that, lockdown is, it's just a little bit strange because Mark's not here. So I'm, I'm really missing him. I don't, I mean, we do the youth camp every year uh, in January for two weeks. Just looking, that's 16. Um, we do it for two weeks and he's away from us for two weeks, but those two weeks are just full on and, you know, I do miss him, but I don't really have time to miss him either because you're constantly busy all day. But when you're at home and it's like, oh, and the first couple of days at the start of the week, like Monday, Tuesday, I hadn't turned my alarms off. So, you know, my alarm was going off. Oh, time to pick Mark up from school. I'm like, yeah, he's not with me. So I'm not sure. I think he's coming home Saturday. Um, it'll be really nice to see him again. But it's really nice in the fact that he's started to want to talk on the phone to us. So he'll quite happily pick up um, the phone I'm just having a look. Sometimes I find it easier to look here. I'm doing sort of this colour. And instead of looking at all the numbers, it looks like we could have some here and some down the bottom. So I'm just going to flip it round and have a look. Um, so it's been really nice having some time on our own. Yeah, there's some down the bottom here. Um, Move my paints because I want to go this way. So it's been nice having some time on our own, but I'm missing him. I'm missing him. So I'm sure he'll be home soon. Um, Hubby's been really throwing himself into work and doing lots of work. He's had lots of reporting to catch up on. But how crazy is this? <coughs> Excuse me. So, he does health and safety, right? So, he's doing a chemical registry for one of the companies that he works for. He's a contractor. So, he works for multiple companies. And he's like, come and have a look at this. I'm like, what? He goes, well, these are the, the data sheets for the chemicals used. The hand sanitizer that they're using... Because hand sanitizers, alcohol based, the hand sanitizer, according to the spec sheets, is more dangerous than the rat poison that they use in their rat traps. So reading those, reading the spec sheets for the chemicals used in them, because the rat baits are like a wax square bait that gets put into a trap. I could basically safely handle the rat bait and then go and have my lunch. But if I used hand sanitizer and then went and ate without washing my hands, you got more risk of damage. And we're putting this stuff on our hands. That's what's crazy that we're actually putting this stuff on our hands. And how often have you been out now that you've put hand sanitizer on and then eaten something? Like you've picked it up with your hands and eaten it. Because I know I have. But yeah, and we're putting this on our skins. It's crazy. It's really crazy. I've lost, I think, oh yeah, there it is. This one's a bit hard. So I thought that I, that kind of just blew my mind. I'm like, wow. And there's nothing you can do about it because you need the, the alcohol content in it for it to be effective. Or else it's not effective, but it's real effective. So maybe next time you think about uh, putting hand sanitizer on before you eat something, pick up a sandwich with your hand. Maybe see if you can get yourself to a tap and wash your hands instead. Because I know I definitely will be. After reading those data sheets. 
um, you know, because people are still eating out, and, you know, playing in playgrounds and stuff. We've got, we've got lockdown, but it's pretty, it's very relaxed compared to other states. So I've got family in Victoria, and when they were in lockdown, they couldn't go more than five kilometers from their home. Uh, our lockdown is saying is you're not meant to travel out unless it's for essential services or food, but it's not as, like, there's no limit of how far you can travel, basically, as long as you stay within the greater Sydney area, which is, yeah, they're saying stay at home, but it's very, very laxed. Um, it's kind of been nice having hubby home uh, because he's working so much. It's nice just to have someone at home to talk to when, you know, I find something great on Facebook. Oh, look what this person did. Oh, that was another thing. So the first day of lockdown, we live on a national park here. We have a national park not far from us. And these, one of the fines that went out on one of the first days of lockdown were to two guys. I just find this hilarious. So apparently they had been at a remote beach sunbathing which is not unusual except the fact that we're in the middle of winter in Australia. So it's it's not cold, cold. Like Sydney's a lot warmer than other places, like a lot warmer than Melbourne. It's not freezing, but I wouldn't call it sunbathing, sunbathing weather. Um, so they were sunbathing nude at a beach in the six i'm just trying to decide what color we were doing there seems to be quite a few 10 16s so we might do that which is a darker blue so they were sunbathing nude and then apparently deer startled them and they ran into the bush i can't get this pot open they ran into a bush, into the bush, and then they got lost and required assistance to help them find, to get out. I'm just going to write this down. What am I doing? 10, 16, which is hilarious because they were found nude. One of them had a backpack on and they were picked up. They were found, taken to the closest police station and issued a thousand dollar fine each i'm like oh that's gold you two must feel uh <sighs> yeah i reckon it was hilarious see this goes really dark i reckon i'm gonna put some more blue in that because that's almost black like it's meant to be dark but oh i just stuck my finger in it it's meant to be dark, but I don't think it's meant to be that dark. And, like, it's paint by numbers. It's my own thing. I can do what I want. I am, however, with these pots because they're so hard to get into, um, getting paint all over my hands, which I'm quite capable of doing on my own anyway. But these these pots, I reckon, are fine. I'm finding it a lot harder. So 10, 16. Um... Yeah, see, that's almost black to me. Oh, well. It is what it is. Um, yeah, so I thought that was absolutely hilarious when I heard it. And what was even funnier was the police commissioner or one of the police guys who does the reports on our daily um, press release. The way he said it, he didn't even crack a smile. He was so good. I'm like... There's no way I could report that without laughing or at least cracking a smile. He just had, I ha I sat there and rewatched it because I'm like, how can he do, because I was just listening to it. And then I rewatched it. I'm like, oh my God, he just, 
said that without cracking a smile. I can't believe that. <laughs> it's crazy. So, yeah, don't sunbathe in the nude and get startled by a deer. Because you'll end up with a fine. Because you're not meant to be in the national park. It's really dark. I really don't like it. But I suppose that one's quite dark too. That's 1016. I really want... I'm just trying to see. I suppose it's not quite black. Oh well, we'll keep going. Um, yeah, so I found that really funny. Really funny. So we don't have any plans at all at the moment. Um... We were meant to go to the zoo next week. I was meant to be going around to a girlfriend's house and helping her clean out her garage. And we can't do any of it. Um, Mark's apparently been going to the beach a lot and to the parks, the local parks. Uh, I'm not, not as keen. Oh, there's a 1016. I might do that one. That's one of the ones we were doing earlier, but I might try and see if I've got enough paint here to do it. Um, they've been going to the parks and the beach a lot, to the rock pools and finding things in the rock pools. I just don't know of any rock pools around here. I'm sure there is plenty. And we're not far, we're like we're close enough that we could it could be classed as exercise for us. I'm just not overly keen on him playing on the playground equipment because, you know, kids are gross. Kids are like this germ-sharing machines. So, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see what we'll do. If you've got any suggestions on what we can do next week, um, apparently he's been doing lots of drawing and coloring in which is awesome because he's got lots of coloring books and bits and pieces so we'll be able to crack into some of them and you know mummy loves crafts so we've always got plenty of craft things to do i'm thinking if the weather's okay we might do a bushwalk one day or not like a big bushwalk just go for like an hour or so there's plenty of tracks up around us that we've got that we can go up behind his school um so i'm thinking that might be on the cards and then i guess the first like two days all he'll do is sit on the couch and do nothing because he's always exhausted after spending even a weekend with his grandparents because they don't stop they have him out at places all day long you know, they go out in the morning, then they come home, then they go out in the afternoon, which is fine. But normally, especially the first day after he's there, he's just happy to sit and watch TV all day and just potter with his toys. He doesn't really want to do anything. He doesn't even want to eat because she's been feeding him constantly for a, a weekend. Um, so that would probably just be a, a nice little relax for him for the first day or so uh, but I don't suspect we'll have much else to do other than going for walks we've got a grass section across the road from our house and all the local teenagers they're all probably nine to 13 or so there's a big group of boys in the area and they've all been meeting up on their bikes because they've dug like a little bike ramp and they've all been meeting up across the road each day. And they've built their ramp a bit better. And there's a couple of milk crates over there that they've been sitting on. And so I had to be careful leaving. I had to go up to the shops before. And they're all hanging around out the front. So that's all right. It's nice to see them out. And they're all from the kids next door. Uh, it must be all their friends. So, they're hanging out out there. 
But other than that, I'm not sure what else has been happening. We've booked our tickets for Norfolk Island. Very excited to go and see my grandmother. So now we have to just... I don't know if I want to do... That's meant to be 1016 there, or did I do that the wrong one? 1416. Oh, I did it the wrong one. Oh, well. Too late now. That's meant to be a lighter. That's meant to be a blue. Oh, that's not my paper towel. Let's see if I can put some blue over it. It's meant to be 1416, not 1016. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to go and see my grandmother. Uh, it's making me a bit nervous that we have to fly out of Brisbane because Brisbane, Queensland tend to slam their borders shut at a drop of a hat. So fingers crossed that... Um, everything's all right by the time we have to go because it would be a shame if we have to cancel it the kids are excited and I haven't been away with my brother and my sister since we were kids just the three of us I mean mum mum and dad were always there but it'd be nice to go away for a week with them and and our kids so six of us are going Hubby's got to stay home and work, and my sister's hubby's got to stay home and work. Uh, but three adults, three kids. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, there's a lot of 1016 up here. Um, so the paint by numbers has been, yeah. I didn't think I liked my other one, but I've hung it in my bedroom next to my bedside table and I have a salt lamp that runs um, all the time and it's hanging just sort of above it and I don't know if it's because of the orange glow from the salt lamp but when it's hanging with the salt lamp light on it it looks really good you can't see any of the imperfections I mean, you probably couldn't see them if you stood back and looked at it. It's just because you, you look so close at it. And I really, really like it. I really, really enjoy the image. Um, and I'm sort of proud of myself every night. You know, I get into bed and I look over at it and I'm like, oh, I made that. Look what I did. Look how clever I am. And I'm not very clever when it comes to paint. So, it's pretty cool um, to look at it and know that I've done it. So, I really, if you, if you don't think you can do it, go for it. Just go for it and give it a try. What's the worst that's going to happen? You're going to stuff it up and throw it in the bin, you know, but at least you can say you've tried it. Um, I would suggest when you're looking at, for an image, to look for something that doesn't have a lot of detail because these fine lines are hard in saying it I mean I'm yeah you know, I'm I'm not perfect at it I'm not very good at painting you can see all my brush strokes I'm just going with the flow and I think that's where you need to come from just enjoy it enjoy the experience of it and do it I'm gonna have when I finish this I'm gonna have a look and see what my, I have a feeling my other image is animals of some form, sort. Now these ones don't have numbers in them, but I reckon I'm going to I might just do them this colour. So your mixed colours are obviously going to vary a little bit over the whole painting because um, you have to mix it each time like I'm definitely not going to have enough of this to do 
this color to do my whole painting um, but that's okay it's it's water it's fish it's not meant to be exactly the same um, let me just I've almost done this section and I'm gonna have a look to see what the other image I got was Oh, it's pandas so I think that one's gonna have quite a lot of mixed colors in it too um, it's the same company as this and I didn't realize you had to mix the colors so now I've done the ones I can immediately see there looking at my colored picture of it there's quite a bit in here so I'm just going to work across over here. But I think that might be an... Oh, there, see, there's another 14, 16 one that I didn't do earlier. Oh, well. We'll find it again later. So I think that might be enough of my rambling. Nothing's really happened here. Since we're in lockdown. Other than Mark being cute on video chat. Uh, what am I doing? 10, 16. Oh, yeah, there's a bit in there. There's another one there. Um, yeah, so I might leave that here for this week and just finish up this colour. And I'll see you all in the next video. I'm not sure what it'll be. I might get out here and be a bit crafty tomorrow and, and do something. I've got lots of different ones behind me, lots of different things to play with so I might get out here and play with something new tomorrow but I hope you have all have a lovely week look after yourselves stay safe make sure you check on any friends or family that may be in lockdown or not got not able to get out um, just check on them make sure they're doing okay it can be hard I'm lucky I have someone home with me but I know that if I was on my own, it would be quite stressful. So take care and I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.